Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas, on Monday, April uh, the 30th. You know, a couple of big things happening uh, on Trump's uh, watch that I think uh, could end up uh, turning his presidency into a rather historic presidency. And one of the most important ones is what is happening in Korea. Now, I have to tell you up front, like perhaps a lot of you, that I, I'm always skeptical of anything about North Korea. And it's not because, it's simply because I've seen North Korea go down this road before where they negotiate and they break the deal and they get away with it. And so I've been down this road before. We all remember what happened in 1994 when they negotiated a deal with the Clinton administration. And uh, after a while, they broke the deal and there were no consequences for that. So I think Many of us have grown very skeptical of North Korea, and for good reason. But there's obviously something going on. Something is going on right now. You had the leader of North Korea come down and all kinds of pictures with the leader of South Korea. So obviously something is going on. And is it all because of President Trump? Well, I, I think some of it is. Some of it is. Uh, I think clearly President Trump's uh, tougher position on, on North Korea has delivered a message that the United States is willing to act militarily if it has to. I think in the past, uh, we always knew that uh, a military option could happen, but I'm not sure that North Korea thought that it would. But I think with President Trump, they do believe it. They do believe it, and they understand that uh, President Trump will use his power to, to you know, defeat the North Korean government if necessary. So I think in that respect, President Trump uh, deserves uh, some credit. I also think that there's a larger thing going on here. And I think that China has pretty much come to the conclusion that North Korea is bad for business, that North Korea is just not a good deal anymore. You know, for a long time, North Korea was kind of like their pet project. They would use North Korea to irritate the United States and so on. But I think China is a little different now. I think China looks at North Korea and sees a poor country uh, that cannot buy any of its products, uh, a poor country where people are literally starving. And then they look at South Korea and they see a very prosperous country, uh, a country that, with, with whom they have a very, go a very good, strong commercial relationship. And I think China would rather have North Korea look more like South Korea than the North Korea we've, we've, grown, to, we've grown accustomed to over the last 30 or 40 years. So there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. And we're not, we're not really going to know where all of this ends up, I suppose, until they get together and cut a deal. And I'm optimistic that a deal can be cut. Uh, I'm optimistic that maybe there can be a re reunification in the peninsula. I think that would be, I think, important for the people in the north. So we're just going to have to wait and see. We're going we're to have to wait and see. But clearly, this could be one of the biggest foreign policy achievements of any president. And I think it would create a rather historic Trump uh, presidency. There's even some talk out there that President Trump could win the Nobel Peace Prize. Well, I'm not sure about that because the people who hand out uh, these prizes are not exactly uh, the most pro-American people in the planet. I mean, they gave one to President Obama right before, you know, as, as he became president, which is really a joke. Uh, but so I don't know what's going to happen with the Nobel Peace Prize. And frankly, I don't really care that much um, whether he gets it or not. But the bottom line is that there's something going on in Korea. There's clearly something different going on in Korea. And time will tell. But if things continue the way they are, I think this is a rather historic accomplishment uh, by the Trump administration. And they deserve credit for what, uh, for what is happening. Thank you for watching. We have all of these at YouTube. We have them on Twitter and we have them on my blog. Bye-bye, everybody.